Hi, it's Chippy from UMCPortal.com here at the Intel Software Summit in Alicante, Spain. And I've got the T100 here, the Asus Transformer book that's uh, actually the number one selling laptop on Amazon.com today. So it's a pretty hot item and a number of people have been asking about uh, wider over in the background there. That is a big screen. It's got a wide eye adapter on the on the back of it. And what we're going to do is go over a uh, wireless network here and then project a screen onto there. And I'll also show you extended screen. Now, the way you do that on Windows 8.1 uh, here, just go to Devices, go to Project, add a wireless display. Now, there's a hell of a lot of stuff going on here. Let me just give you a quick scan round. There's a lot of Wi-Fi in this room, so this is not the ideal place to be uh, demonstrating it but we did uh, get that working uh, earlier and we're just going to wait for that uh, that product to to show up on the list of course you can see other tvs whoops i just hit the wrong button we've got other tvs that uh, are showing up uh, on this uh, we've already previously connected to the the product actually so what i can do is i can just go to project and choose the display now hopefully in the background you'll see something happening there you'll see if i just run over you'll see it's actually starting to uh, verify security and what you should get in just a few seconds is a copy of the screen that's on the t100 back there showing up on this uh, full hd monitor takes a little while to connect as i said in here a lot of wi-fi smog going on what we can also do uh, once that's connected is use it as a, a second screen as well so we could actually have an extended desktop scenario if we need to so you could be running a video um, in one part of your living room for your kids and then working in the other part of the room on your on your laptop that's taking however long time to to connect that usually takes about uh, 10 seconds to connect there and you'll see it's uh, still trying here it says it couldn't connect i'm just going to try again and we can bring the bring the device a bit nearer to show you that connecting successfully paired and there we go so we're actually in extended desktop uh, mode here so if i go into the desktop there and i just bring up a, an app quickly on on this screen if i just push it over to the side there you'll see that appear there Screen uh, font scaling is also working there. You'll see the, the size of the fonts pop up as you move between the two windows. So Windows key and P brings up the options. You can duplicate your screen or just run it on the second screen uh, only. I'm just gonna see if we've got any uh, videos on here because this is the ideal kind of demo um, is videos. Let's see if we've got a video. Ah, no videos on this. Uh, on this uh, laptop, unfortunately, we could, I suppose, try and get YouTube running. But it won't be a very uh, smooth demo, I fear, here. We've got 300 people in the room next door using the uh, using the internet. So the chances of YouTube running smoothly are, are slim. But that's just, uh, just to show you that uh, wireless display is working on the T100. Uh, originally, Asus told us that it wasn't wide eye uh, compatible. So uh, having done the test here at uh, the Intel Software Summit, we can say that's not right and it does actually work well we're going to do some more testing on wide eye uh follow in a follow-up video because i'm getting a wide eye adapter uh, in the studio next week so uh stay tuned and we'll get some more wide eye demos up for you we'll talk about things like the latency uh we'll talk about gaming and desktop usage and whether that the latency there is uh, is good enough for for using desktop okay it's chippy at the intel software summit thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the video and follow me on twitter at chippy